it's a pleasure having you back my friends here on will edutech and in this video we're going to be looking at the solutions to question 39 and question 40 on the May 2012 multiple choice CSET math exam pass paper now in question 39 it states that item 39 refers to the diagram below here we have a cylinder okay and they gave us the height which is 8 centimeters and the radius uh, which is 3 centimeters now 39 states the diagram not drawn to scale shows a cylinder of radius 3 centimeters and height of 8 centimeters now they're asking us to calculate the volume of the cylinder okay here they have they have given us some options a b c and d now the volume of a cylinder my friends and let's just make the let's just do our calculations on the side here volume of a cylinder is really equal to pi r square okay times the height okay now pi r square what's pi r square pi r square is really the base area of the cylinder so what what i what do i mean by the base area this area the bottom here that i'm shading in this would be regarded as your base area now now having said that now we can substitute they didn't give us a value for pi okay so we can't use a value so i'm going to have to substitute my radius is three okay if you notice it's at the top there my radius is three so i can say three square times pi okay multiplied by pi times my height and they gave us the height to be eight okay so this would be equal to three squares the same as three times three and three times three that would give us a nine pi times eight okay and then simply you can just multiply your numbers nine times eight that would give us a 72 so we would have a 72 pi centimeters since it's uh, since it's volume we're calculating it must be in centimeters cube so we're looking for that uh, answer and when you look here um, option C uh, is 72 pi centimeters cube okay so that would be the correct option now let's move on to question 40 now let's just pull this up a bit in question 40 my friends here we have the area of a triangle is 30 centimeters square and its base is 10 centimeters what is the perpendicular height of the triangle okay so they gave us the area to be 30 centimeters square so let's just identify those critical points okay now the area 30 centimeters square they are referring to this orange region this region that I've colored in orange is 30 centimeters square and that's the area of the triangle now they gave us the base to be 10 so let's just quickly fill in the blanks the base which would be here this distance here to this distance that's the base so let's just put that in they gave that to us to be 10 centimeters and now they're asking us to find the perpendicular height now this is a right angle triangle my friends let's just uh, put in the right angle here so they're asking us to find now the perpendicular height which is this height here the height from the top here to the base this vertical height that's what they're speaking about so let's call that H now in calculating the perpendicular height of the triangle we would not since they gave us the area and they gave us the base and it's a right angle triangle we can then state then that the area of a right angle triangle the area would be equal to a half times the base times the height which is the perpendicular height now they gave us the area so we can just substitute the values they gave us the area to be 30 and that is equal to a half a half multiplied by the base which is 10 okay times the height which we are trying to find times h okay so simply here my friends i could say a half of 10 is really 5 so what i would have here is 30 is equal to 5 because we would say 2 into itself once 2 into 10 goes 5 times so we have 5 times h is really 5h so since 5 is multiplying h let's divide through by 5 okay so really 5 would cancel 5 
and 5 into itself once 5 into 30 goes 6 times so 6 is equal to h so therefore we can make our statement that therefore h is equal to 6 centimeters okay so let's look for that and obviously that's option a okay uh, stay tuned in the next videos we'll be looking at in the next video rather we'll be looking at the solutions to question 41 and 42 bye bye